Well, in the early 1990s, there wasn't very much about for carers. I've been in my role as manager here for the last 12 years, but before that, into, at the beginning in the 90s, uh, there was a lot of carers that were looking for a, a break, a regular break, and there was nothing there for them. We've been going from strength to strength ever since then, looking after carers, and then we expanded many years ago into taking care of the, the care needs of elderly people that lived on their own so that their health and well-being could be recognised to maintain their own independence at home for as long as they wanted to be at home. The ultimate objective really is to allow people, to enable people really, to live the lives that they choose to live, just like we all do. It's entirely personalised. It's been personalised since day one and the way we do that is through absolute special matching of the family, the individual and the volunteer to address all their needs together so that the, really it's a spider's web of benefit across the whole community. volunteered before I joined the, um, the association because of Meals on Wheels and when County Council stopped doing that I was at a loose end and I heard about uh, the sitting in service so I thought reading the brochure I thought that's just me because they want people to sit and talk to other people and I thought that's me I could talk for England yeah gosh I couldn't I can't list everything, but if I didn't have the sitting in service or volunteer work like that, I think I'd just go into myself. Um, I, I do a lot of knitting and crochet and I could stay in my flat 24 seven, but I don't because that wouldn't be good for me. Health wise, it wouldn't be good for me. If they're like me and they're very uh, chatty, they will get back much more than they give in, but they've got to want to do it, not just do it as a passing phase. It's got to be something that they are going to devote the, the next few years to. So there's continuity in their clients. You know, that's, uh, it, it makes a difference if a person gets to know you. is free and it's a wonderful service. I really don't know what we would do without it. And you don't want to be told what to do and what when you have to do it. You don't want anybody coming at seven o'clock in the morning to say you've got to get up. You want to get up when you feel like it. You want to go to bed when you feel like it. You don't want to go to bed at five o'clock. That's five. So it would cost the country a lot, lot more money if everybody went into a home who needed to go, which we don't need by having this service, it's free. Yeah, They're yeah. doing a wonderful job at volunteering mm. to do this job. We get a smile every now and then, don't we? Yes, we do. We have a little <laughs> laugh every now and then. Yes, we do. There are people here that will do something for nothing. They always say to me, why would a volunteer want to come and do this for me? What? How much is it? Why do they get... What do they get out of it? Surely they don't want to do it. The volunteer gets a massive amount. I've had volunteers saying to me when I've thanked them and recognised them through certificates and, and those sorts of things, don't thank me, I should thank you for giving me the opportunity because my life has changed because of the organisation. And that's not, uh, that's not a made-up um, story. Mm -hmm.